morning and greetings to you in the wonderful name of Jesus. We're going to praise God together. Let's just lift up the name of Jesus. spend this time worshipping you for who you are Lord for who you are Jesus I thank you Lord that Lord we receive strength that comes from you hope that comes from you Lord you are our strength during this time you are our hope during this time all we can do is Father put our eyes put our trust in a living God Heavenly Father, we come to you in the precious and wonderful name of Jesus. We thank you for this beautiful day because your word says in Psalm 118 verse 24 that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Now Lord, as we are going to partake of your body and drink of your blood. 2,000 years ago when you spent time with the disciples in the upper room, you broke bread and you gave thanks and you said, take eat, this is my body which was broken for you. Let us eat this morning in unity. And in the same manner he took the cup and he raised it to heaven and he told his disciples, this is my blood, drink it 
in remembrance of me. Now, Father, as we eat of your body and drink of your blood, we receive your healing, your strength, your protection, your favor for our lives and forgiveness. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Well, praise the Lord. Let us pray for the word of God this morning. Father, we thank you for the entrance of your word. Give it light and understanding to the simple. As we prepare our hearts to receive your word, because your word says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, for we walk by faith and not by sight. And Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Today I'd like to share with you from Mark, the fifth chapter, I believe because we are told each one of us must have a Bible. I believe the Bible is the living word of God. Jesus is the word and he became flesh 2,000 years ago. I want to share with you this morning, having a stubborn spirit, a strong spirit, a bulldog spirit, a spirit that doesn't want to give up. And this is something that happened in a lady's life who suffered for 12 years. I want to read it to you from Mark the fifth chapter, a reading from verse 24. So Jesus went to them, and a great multitude followed him and thronged him. <clears throat> now the Bible records, now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years and suffered many things. Right now, we are in a pandemic, and we are suffering Many things. People have lost their jobs. The universities and schools are closed. The restaurants are closed. We are more confined to home than freedom. Could you imagine what happened to this lady's life? Because the Bible clearly records she suffered for 12 years. And in the old days, when a woman was declared unclean, there was no association with the families or having fellowship. And I believe Jesus Christ is grace, amen. When we go before him with our, our lives and say, Lord, we have sinned against thee, and we can truly say in his word and we can be justified by 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And she had suffered many things. I believe her life was in a total mess. The family, her families could have forsaken her. Her friends could have no longer uh, associated with her. Or she was all by herself. And I want you to know today, maybe you're going through something like this woman with the issue of blood. That you have no one to turn to. You're all by yourself. You could have lost your job or a loved one. But I've got good news for you this morning that Jesus Christ said in Hebrews 13, 5, that never will he leave us and never will he forsake us. And she had spent that she had and was no better. And the Bible records, but rather she grew worse. Wow. She was under, she was under tremendous pressure. And when she heard about Jesus, I believe somebody in the neighborhood, because she became so weak and feeble, it probably took her maybe five or six minutes or maybe 10 minutes to get around her room that she was living in. And she was under quarantine for 12 years, I could put it in that way, that she couldn't go out of her home. Maybe the neighbors went around and got her food to, make, to help her in, in some way to get her strength back. But this is what happened, I believe, one of the neighbors came and knocked on the door and said, listen, I've got good news for you today. Jesus of Nazareth is passing your way. She must have thought by herself, who is Jesus? And spending so much of money on physicians, this is the only chance, the only hope for her to get healed. And I believe she could have been practicing in that little room, but if I can only, but if I can only, but if I can only, but if I can only touch the hem of his garment. But if I can only, if I, but if I can only touch the hem of his garment, 
I'll be made whole. That's how low she taught of her life. And some of us have a poor self-image of our lives. We look at ourselves as being nothing. No, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. We are the apple of God's eye. Our names are engraved in a palm of his hands. And she had, if I could only touch the hem of his garment. So she probably came out of her home. And when Jesus was passing, she had crawled or this step by step, step by step, until such that there were a huge crowd that was against her. There were religious leaders. And they must have given her a, a fearful look or an angry look to, that brought fear upon her life. But she said, this is my day. Either I'm going to make it or break it. But guess what? Jesus is knocking on your door this morning. He wants to come and set you free. So let him come into your home today. Whatever your need is. I don't know what you're facing, but God is coming to your home. You're no longer going to suffer lack. You're no longer going to be sick. Because Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, help Perezo, the God of the breakthrough, is visiting our home. And the Bible records, the lady said, if I can only touch his clothes, I will be made well. And verse 30, and Jesus immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him. He turned around in the crowd and said, who touched me? But the disciples said to him, you see the multitude thronging. You say, who touched me? He looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before the king of kings. And when we fall before, when we bow down and worship and praise and magnify the king of kings, your situation is subject to change. She came with fear and trembling and fell at Jesus' feet and she told him the whole truth. And Jesus said to her, wow, this is awesome. And Jesus said to her, daughter, your faith has made you whole. Miracle Lovers Church and all those that are listening to the word of God today, your faith will get you through on the other side. Your faith will make you whole. Your faith will take care of things in your life. So don't give up. We serve a God of the supernatural. And Jesus said, said to her, go in peace. You have been healed of your affliction. In the book of Psalms, the 34th chapter, verse 19 says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord has delivered us out of them all. So today, put your trust in Jesus Christ. If you are brown with drugs and alcohol and you're having a problem to be set free of this, I've got good news for you. Whom the Son of God set free is truly free indeed. He can set you free of anything or any habit that you have right now because he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that you ask or think of according to his power that worked in you and me this morning. So just like this woman who was hopeless, was full of hope. And today you could be in an hopeless situation Jesus Christ is coming to your home to give you hope. Let us pray. Now, Father, we thank you for your word. And I believe that you have touched those who have listened to your word this morning. I believe every home of Miracle Lovers Church will never be the same again. And all those that are listening, I thank you, Father. We break the back of the enemy this morning. Satan, you are bound. The blood of Jesus is against you. And Lord, we thank you that every home is protected with the blood of Jesus against coronavirus and all manner of sickness and disease. You will provide, you will take care, and that the favor of God is upon every family today. And today, Lord, I thank you that our lives and our times are in your hands. We thank you, we step out by faith. 
knowing if God is for us, who can be against us? And no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. In Jesus' precious name, with much thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Now may the grace of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit abide in each one of us in Jesus' precious name. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Thank <laughs> you.